So, Princess Mononoke is my first time watching it. It's the first step in a series I'm doing since I'm stuck in quarantine like everybody else. Uh, first time viewings. So, first time I ever saw this. And overall thoughts, I kind of overhyped it for myself. I wanted a battlefield scene where spirits are on one side, people are on the other side. They run and they clash into each other. I think the trailer was a little bit more epic than the movie. But overall, a good movie. Negatives, overhyped it for myself. It's a negative against me. Uh, the main character, he's really bland. I don't know why, but these shows, and most movies in general, the main character is the least interesting character, in my opinion. In anime movies, the main character is the least interesting character. It's the audience character for the journey. You're supposed to envision yourself, I guess, as this character. But I would love if the main character was as interesting, wacky, or weird as the side characters that they get introduced to throughout the story. You know? They never are. They never are. They're never as interesting. Uh, that's pretty much it for negatives. It wasn't as epic as they thought. Er oh, everything is really bluntly said. I wonder if that's Japanese translating to American. How everything is so directly said, it sounds weird. Like, that's not how people talk. But that's just might be how it translates over for the dub. You know? So, that that got a little annoying. That beat you over the head with the message. But the message was good. I liked the message. I liked the story. I thought the story was very creative. A creative way of telling the story. I could tell that this influenced a lot of other things. This reminded me a lot of Legend of Korra Season 2. The spirit world intertwining with the human world and clashing and warring out. So this was a heavily influential film. And it was more recent than I thought. I think it was 1997. I thought this movie was way older than that. I thought this movie was like in the 80s or something. But great film. Really good. Every Studio Ghibli film is very creative. It's a very good story. Uh, it has some really cool concepts. I love demonic pigs. And I love that every god is a bigger version of the animal. The wolf god is a big ass wolf. The boar god is a big ass boar. Spirit of the Forest though. It's a deer. With a creepy face. He reminded me of a uh, freaking avatar, that demon that takes your face if you show emotion. So he was creepy. And then at night he turned into a big ghost. Spoilers, favorite part of the movie. So click out if you don't want to spoil. When that lady shoots his head off. I was like, whoa! That was crazy. Overall though, good movie. First up on the watch list. If I had to grade it, I'd give it a B plus. Am I crazy? Is that blasphemy for this classic? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And uh, next up, probably gonna do Labyrinth. I think I'm seeing Labyrinth today. Having a movie night with the friends. So, uh, quarantine, you're gonna have me catch up on some movies. 